here's the thread. I'm making this video just in case anybody just needs a little rough. I don't know if they get confused somewhere along the way. Uh, basically what it's telling you here is you need to be on stock in order to apply the update. You can use Odin and using this RAR TAR MD5 um, thing here to flash it through Odin, which I don't really like because Odin acts weird on me. So I'm just going to go the regular update.zip and flash it in recovery. Um, so once again, you got to be on stock ROM. My phone was rooted, but I used Z4 root, which means um, it just gave root to the stock ROM that I have here. Um, so uh, Z4 mod, it's really easy. You just click unroot, and it takes less than a millisecond, and it'll remove the super user permissions. I don't think that was really even necessary. Um, if you go to about phone, it'll tell you what you're running. My build number here is um, DI18, um, and that's pretty much what you need to be on, so we're good. Uh, mounted my phone to the computer. Downloaded. Yeah, I knew it. I told you. I told you you're gonna call again. If, if you're, are you calling me in the room over there? You're like ten feet away from me. Like literally ten feet away from me. I'm trying to do a video. Really? You're just gonna keep calling me though, huh? Yep. Of course. Of course. So there's my SD card. I think I might have an update.zip on here from something else. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to delete that. And then um, we're going to drag and drop that weird file that I showed you just a second ago. Oh, crap. It's not there anymore. Um, it's called this thing. D8DKZ28zip. You're going to rename that. Once you download it, find it on your computer. Rename it to update.zip like I did here. Once it's renamed to update, and it's a zip file and everything, just drag, drag and drop it. So, how do you think we do? Pop, lock, and drop it. Just waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, update.zip. Booyah. Computer. Eject. What do you think about people picking up? Turn off USB. You might want to make sure you have a lot of uh, battery life on your phone. Like it's above 50% before you try something like this. Preparing SD card. Media scanner's running. That's the voice of the Epic. That's what the Epic sounds like all the time. Hello, this is TouchWiz. TouchWiz running. Just give me a, just give me a second. Just give me a brief second, please. Um, okay, so now we need to get into recovery. I'm going to go ahead and put my phone. Power down. That's it for now. See Powering down now. Christopher. Super. Your phone will shut down. Shut it down. Sprint! Ah! <laughs> and it's, it's the sound it makes when it powers down. And okay, so now we need to get into recovery. Wait for those little lights to go away. And um, uh, I kind of forget how to boot into recovery because I um, don't remember. Guide, and then you can click here. Oh, which is this thing. To boot into recovery, you simply... Volume down, camera, and power. So volume down. Eh, this is going to be hard to do with one hand. Volume down, camera button, and then power. Hold them all down until you get into recovery. Samsung Epic. Samsung. Yeah. Okay, so now that we're in there, we use the volume up and down buttons to just go and apply the SD card update.zip and we press the home button, I believe, to select it. What's yes. The the and I swear if something goes wrong here, I'm going to seriously have a BF. Verifying. Ah, oh, it's verifying! Okay, this is farther than I've ever gotten trying to flash anything on this. On the Samsung Epics. Galaxy S. Galaxy S. One more time, I just want to say if anyone wants to trade their Evo, if they have a white one especially, um, and it's in really good condition, if you want to trade for an Epic, I will just glad you, gladly take you up on that offer. Okay, we're just going to let it apply the update. Uh, it's already, dang, six minute video already. Let's see what the guys on Twitter are saying. I seriously feel you on that. Frustrating. Don't hurt them. Oh yeah, I freaked out because I couldn't mount. 
Get yourself a blanket. <laughs> it's John. You might want to join Samsu Epic on Freenode. I don't know what Freenode is. Evo for the win, for sure. Try shaking the Epic or throwing it against the wall. Oh, hey! Hi, baby! Okay, get off. Alright, that's enough. No, no. Hey, what are you. the heck are you doing? What are you doing, animal? He's <laughs> trying to drop a deuce. I'm fully expecting for this keyboard, like, once it's done applying the update, like, the keyboard just flies off and it's nothing but a screen, like the Samsung Fascinate, and it just runs all fast. Like, update applying, removing keyboard, now, and the keyboard just flies off of it, man, like, that'd be so awesome. Sprint, Galaxy S, Galaxy S. Um, I'll just wait till we get to the first little, um, home screen there to make sure everything is cool. I agree. Whole process took about eight minutes, didn't take too long at all. Dang. Oh, whoa, it's getting hot, it's shaking what oh the keyboard oh, oh. oh the keyboard okay so i'm finally back on the home screen it took a while my google sign in was acting weird and um you can see a few changes it's actually completely transparent here at the bottom and not tinted uh the icons some of them changed they look more like the vibrant one now uh the little numbers are at the top to tell you which home screen you're on a la the vibrant pressing this button here has a weird little fade effect and stuff. Um, this is actually the new TouchWiz launcher. I think this one's actually already on the Vibrant, but it's new to me. And this stupid epic. Uh, you can actually edit or move around everything. Those little docks are the icons that are on the dock there. Click the edit button. It allows you to edit stuff. Um, all the third-party apps and stuff that you've installed on your phone, you can just click them. And it'll say this application will be deleted if you want to delete it. Or you can actually adjust them or move them around. It's kind of neat there. Um, pressing the menu button again will allow you to sort them A through Z because they were all non-alphabetized. They were all mixed up and stuff. So um, just save. Save everything. That's cool. And um, everything seems to be moving smooth. Uh, looks like there's a couple of new apps. There's this weird um, video player icon change. Some of the icons change. I'm sure they probably just changed to what's on the Vibrant. Uh, where was that game one? Free HD game. I'm not sure what that is, but when you click it, it takes you to... Oh, Game Loft. Buy one, get one free. Nova, Vanguard, Asphalt 5. Uh, Five dollars for two games. And there... Um, the Game Loft games is actually pretty tight. For your Samsung Epic high quality gaming experience. Oh, that's cool. I actually will probably take them up on that offer. I think I'm going to get myself some Uno. Heroes of Sparta looks a little too intense for me. I'll probably get Gangstar. Life in the IE. Gangstar life in the In an empire, baby. Um, and I think that's kind of it. Oh, I think we have the new music player. Let's see. Yes! Okay, I think this is the one from uh, the artists. I don't know. I think this is the one from the I thought this is the one from the Vibrant, but I could be wrong. Video search. Oh, go to this view. It is! Okay, this is cool. Alright, so this is going to be new to all the Epic people. We're going to be freaking out saying Samsung's so awesome, but this is the same stuff that's been on the, um... Whee! Look at that. 60 frames. Hummingbird GPU goodness. Running so smooth. Um, pretty, pretty awesome. I'm loving this a lot. Uh... Again, vibrant owners are going to be like, you guys are just retarded because we've had that forever now. So, cool stuff. And um, I think that's going to probably be it. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be other little changes and stuff. You know what, let me go ahead and run a quadrant because... People like to see that. Now that's Android 2.2. whatever. We're going to see what we're... Um, install. Install from SD card. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what the um, quadrant score is now that we're on 
2.1 quad oh wait B, A, B, C, D, e, F. let me let it load up there for a second we can party all night long Quadrant standard, go ahead and install. And we're going to open and run this baby and see how well it does. Open. Now I think what like the best that they got before was like 1,700 something I believe on stock 2.1, uh, which was on some of the custom ROMs. Let's go ahead and run the full benchmark here, and uh, that was pretty impressive as it was. But now that we have 2.2.1 and JIT and stuff with the Hummingbird, I think these are going to be pretty really 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 good. And we're at 954. Are you are you serious? What just happened here? <laughs> what? Like what? How the hell do we go backwards? Like people, really? <sighs> like what is? Ugh, are you? You know what? Just forget it. Just forget all this, man. All my Evo back. Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe I can root it and do the lag fix, and then those quadrants will jump up um, a whole lot more. But apparently, it's supposed to be faster. It's supposed to be faster. All right, I've had quite a few people ask me for the Linpack and the Neo cores as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and run those, and we'll see what these are. I'm not really expecting anything too great. Uh, 12 mega flops, which I think is right around what the Evo was on just 2.1. 13 mega flops in six seconds, so basically nothing to be too excited about there. Let's go ahead and run the Neo core. Check out the Neocore, look at the graphics, dude, like they put all these crazy graphics. Interactive mode, let's go ahead and run the- No! Benchmark. I don't know why they always use these as like the benchmark for great graphics. These graphics actually kinda, kinda suck, but you yeah, know, whatever. Look at this full bomb. So you might want to check um, and run a Neocore and a Lin Pack and the Quadrant before you update just so you can get a good sense of um, if anything really improved. Unfortunately I didn't run it before I updated because I knew it would probably be pretty crappy. 55 frames a second. Not too shabby. But not great either. I think that's probably the same as it was before anyway. So whatever that's it this is the uh 2.2.1 froyo update for the samsung suck fest i mean the samsung epic my bad i'm sorry i'm sorry guys.